What's up, everyone? This is James at Locking the Value talking to you today about the wonderful world of crypto. Holy crap, the market is crashing. No, I'm just kidding. Look, <laughs> this is this is what I said at the beginning of the month. We're going to have a few rough times this month. Token metrics identified that there were going to be issues this month. They weren't predicting high levels for bullish momentum. Um, and there's a couple of factors that, that seep into this. Now, I've lost uh, reasonable money on a few of my positions. I'm very lucky that one of my positions has gained dramatically. Um, I did a, the, the Udemy course I did, that, that coin 10 x um, from when I invested. So um, I'm very lucky on that regard. And well done to those that got in on it. Um, but I've got positions and I've talked to, I, I, I'm always open about positions that I hold. So I'm bullish on Icon and I hold a position in Icon. And Icon's dropped 25% on the dot this in the last seven days. So I've lost a quarter of the value of that holding. And I'm okay with that because this month in particular seems to be indicating sideways movements with some significant dips. So I'm going to go through what I'm doing um, based on the information that I've got uh, about how to invest. I, I, I effectively have a pot of money every month that I can invest. Um, so today, I so I've allocated 20% for effectively dip days where I'm going to invest. So as an example, I've got 20% of the funds that I have that I have to invest this month um, set in for buy points on a few different currencies. So um, I spoke at the beginning of the month about Elrond. Elrond I'm bullish on, massively bullish on. I think the new token metrics is br like token economics of the crypto is brilliant. So Elrond e-gold or e-gold as it's now known. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I've set buy points for Elrond at around $17. I'm hoping I catch a dip and I can get it because I'd be very happy at that price. But I think, and I've done that for a few different currencies. Um, and the reason being is that these are good buy points for a few of them. But I still think that the market's going to drop more over the month. Um, and... That's why I'm scheduled. That's why I'm dollar cost averaging effectively. So a fifth of the my my investable funds today, probably a fifth of my investable funds, the next dip, whether that's next week or tomorrow, or we'll see, right? Um, but I play play it out so that I dollar cost average, so that I don't buy, put all my funds in today at two, at a point, and then they all drop even more, right? And the reason. And the market seems to be moving the way it is are a couple of things. Ethereum is obviously struggling under the weight of its own success. That's a phrase we keep hearing. Is literally an article that is effectively titled that. Now, and it's and it's I mean it's clickbait because it's Ethereum struggles under the weight of DeFi is ETH doomed to fail. Of course it's not doomed to fail. ETH runs smart contracts. Look. ETH needs to fix their scalability issues. There is no doubt about that. And whether they get in someone like Matic, 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 Matic to help or not, but they, they're they going to end up reaching out to someone to help. And with Ethereum 2.0 and working in tandem with someone like Matic, they'll address those the, the high transaction fees that has basically stopped anyone from being able to actually invest into DeFi because all your profits are removed from transaction fees. Um, and that will be addressed. I don't think it will be fixed, but it will be addressed and it will reduce. Um, and other than that, we've got Bitcoin and Bitcoin has dropped, right? So September has started with a big sell-off for BTC. <clears throat> now, Traders expect, so I'll read out what's, traders expect the Bitcoin, uh, price of Bitcoin to drop as low as the 11,000 support area. A drop below 10,500 in the consolidation under it would raise the chances of a bearish trend. Traders generally consider 11,000 and 11,700 as the key levels for BTC. 
If Bitcoin remains below 11,000 for a prolonged period, it might indicate a bearish pullback. That is what I'm expecting to see. Um, if we actually look at the general options market, it's fairly um, like the monthly. It's fairly evenly split in terms of what we're seeing for people's belief in terms of how it moves in the short term. Um, now, if it rejects the 11,000, we could see a drop below 10,000. Now, I'm not sure if it drops below 10,000, but I, I, I don't believe. I think we're going to hover around 10,500 for the month. Um, and that's going to raise some interesting issues with regards to altcoins, because we know altcoins move, they're like Bitcoin dominates the market. So if Bitcoin pumps, Altcoins might lose some value before they gain loads, right? Because people sell off their positions in altcoins to buy in Bitcoin, and then they sell off their positions in Bitcoin to get back at the altcoins, you know. So how altcoins move this month is going to be really interesting. But there is not a, anyone that's looking at this shouldn't be panicked or stressed or worried unless you've gone all in on a project, in which case, you know, really, really don't do that ever. <laughs> Um, but there's going to be lots of buy points this month, lots and lots and lots. So figure out how much you actually have to invest and then make a plan of action for how you're going to proceed. Okay. Because you are going to have four or five days like this over the course of this month where there's good buy points. Um, but, you know, remember, remember your strategies. Again, I go, I, I went in on a lot of staking coins at the, initially. Um, so regardless of the fact that those coins are losing value now, a number of them, um, I'm still gaining the passive growth for them. And I know they'll be good in the long run. Um, that's it really today. Just if you're seeing a market like this, know it's a good buy point for some of your uh, for the projects that you like and take your time. Remember me saying Serum is going to do well in the first video, in the video just before the start of this month for September. It's a good start. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it. Just go easy. Don't stress. Don't go all in at once on just because it's a, uh, there's a lot of dips today because there's going to be multiple dips throughout this month. Um, so take your time. It's going to be a long month. Anyway, that's it from me. Take care. Stay safe.